Temiz yok. Laura Valkis ne yapıyorsunuz? I'm excited tells about today's game update, which just went live. It's part five of Tales from the Far Territory, which we've named Last Horizon. And I also have details about the free Sonofuk updates to the base game Lost we've released Last along Horizon. with it. There's a lot to go over today, so let's get started. Yenarita. We've added the third and final new region with part five of Tales. Joining Forsaken Airfield in the Zone of Contamination, Sundered Pass is a dramatically vertical region that reaches deeply into the spine of the far territory, showcasing some of the mountainous terrain that separates this area from the rest of Great Bear Island. Sundered Pass is a cold, desolate place with mountain peaks and rocky crags everywhere. The paths you'll travel are dangerous and narrow. You'll encounter the aftermath of seismic activity and avalanches, but if you're determined and lucky, you'll make it to the top of the pass where you'll find the abandoned weather station. Keep an eye out for the meandering cave system that links Sundered Pass to the zone of contamination. You'll know you're heading in the right direction when you find the ice cave at the heart of the transition. Mm. Picking up from Buried Echoes, Last Horizon delivers the third and final tale, a trilogy of stories started with Signal Void. Follow the clues leading from the zone of contamination, deep into the heart of Sundered Pass, hunting for answers to the story of Rüdiger and the weird experiments he spearheaded in the dark depths of the Far Territory. If you can find your way to the end, you'll uncover new mysteries and unlock a pair of new feats. And keep in mind that if you've already finished the first two tales, you can simply continue onward into Last Horizon. As we said when we first announced Tales from the Far Territory, the tales were an experiment in trying to bring some more narrative flavor to the open world sandbox of survival mode. We really enjoyed creating these stories for you, and we hope that you found that they brought a new level of mystery and storytelling into the survival sandbox. Cooker! We know you're excited to be hunted by this dangerous beauty. The cougar is different from other wildlife in the game, in that it's a stalking predator that you're only likely to see once it's on top of you. Fortunately, if you're paying attention, you'll have lots of warning to be on your guard ahead of time. If you find yourself spending a lot of time in one region, the cougar will take an interest in you and begin to encroach on you. Territorial, it wants you out, and will stalk you and harass you with its unsettling cry, keeping you on your guard while you await the shock of its claws and teeth at your throat. When the cougar attacks, its vicious tears will shred your clothing and leave you with serious lacerations. But if you're lucky and not completely in shock, you might have the opportunity to get a shot off at the cougar before it escapes back into the wilderness. Hit it! and you might kill the cougar outright, buying yourself some time before another begins to take an interest in you. And thus the cycle continues. <laughs> if you want to avoid the cougar threat, the best thing to do is keep moving on regular intervals. Maintain multiple safe houses and keep them stocked so that if you find yourself having to move, you aren't leaving yourself vulnerable to other threats. Over time, the cougar will lose interest in you and leave the region it occupied, allowing you to return, until you once again overstay your welcome. If you want to buy yourself a more significant reprieve from the cougar, you can hunt down and find the cougar's den. There will only be one in the world, and it's not always in the same place from save to save, so keep this in mind. If you find the den and manage to toss a couple of noisemakers in without getting destroyed by the cougar whose territory you are now encroaching on, you'll collapse the den and buy yourself many days of peace, until at some point the cougar will return. But don't worry, with this update, you'll have the option to keep the cougar out of your current in-progress saves, and even when you set up a new game, Cougars will appear as a new option, along with scurvy, so if this kind of ominous threat doesn't feel exciting to you, you can always opt out. Hey, well, well. The first new experience mode added to the Long Dark since we added Interloper in 2016, Misery is the culmination of our work to ratchet up the challenge and difficulty of the punishing Interloper even further. While we're sure there are still some TLD players out there who will find a way to master Misery, we believe it'll live up to its name for the vast majority of our players, even the really hardcore ones. Misery is really, really hard. As a baseline, we start with interloper settings, but also push to their extreme with the global temperature already being very low. Yeah, the Cougar and Scurvy are not optional in this mode, so all the toughest survival mechanics in the game are pushed to their extreme. We start you in the same location every time, just to ensure the opening is balanced across all players. And then, bad things start to happen. On regular fixed intervals, we start to introduce the five stages of misery. Hardship, sorrow, despair, torment, and ruin. 
Each stage introduces truly punishing afflictions that threaten to take you down individually, but in concert they conspire to really ruin your day. The first and the last misery afflictions are always the same, but the ones in between come in a random order, adding another variable to your survival and ensuring players can't find an optimal repeatable strategy. I don't want to spoil the afflictions for you ahead of time, but they come with names like Diminished Form and Haunted Mind, culminating in Broken Body, so you can imagine these are not pleasant. The final stage of misery is Ruin, where your body is literally broken. If you've survived this long, from here on out you are truly fighting for every hour of survival every day to see how long you can last beyond before succumbing to the long dark, because eventually you will fall. We can't wait to see how our most hardcore players feel about Misery and what interesting new strategies and player stories emerge from this new experience. At this point, I'd also like to give a special call out to four of our most dedicated TLD interloper streamers who helped playtest and give feedback on Misery as we were developing it. Shouts go out to Thomasina, Zach Nafane, Athenon, and Hadrian. We've put links to their channels in the comments below, so please thank them for their help by watching, liking, and sharing their content. And be nice. Any suffering you may experience, experience is definitely our fault and not theirs. The final addition in part 5 is the first change to the game's permadeath system since we launched Long Dark back in 2014. Ten years of permadeath being the game's default mode, and that isn't changing. The entire experience of TLD's survival systems have always been designed and tuned around the expectation that players will die, sometimes frequently. But we've noticed two trends over time that led us to believe some of you might want the option to try something different. Sometimes you die and it's not your fault. The game is huge, and although we try really hard to fix all the bugs and find all the little issues that might hang you up while exploring the world, we can never find them all. So sometimes you die due to something that is not entirely your fault, and that feels unfair. We've always wanted death and failure to feel like something players would feel a sense of ownership for. Looking at it as a chance to learn and try again, but nobody will feel that way about a long-running game they feel they've been robbed of. We also know that over time, more and more systems and content in the game have encouraged long play sessions and a sense of ownership of your survivor. If you've played with the same save for a thousand days, you feel a strong sense of connection to that survivor and all the stories you've experienced through them. Near deaths, close calls, beautiful sunsets, cans of peaches, who wants to give that up? Rather than have you try to work around permadeath when it doesn't work for you, and see you backing up saves to protect those games from failure, we decided to do the most TLD thing we could think of, which was to make death a tough choice with some consequences. If you enable cheat death, which for this update is enabled by default, but might be something we make optional in the future, you'll okay. be prompted at death whether you want to die and restart, which is permadeath as usual, or if you want to cheat death. But remember, nobody cheats death. Okay, dosh. Death without paying Neyse. the price for it. Döneceğiz buraya. When Bakacağım you bunların hepsine tek tek. You'll respawn in the world and based on your selections, you'll find yourself in a place close to where you died but facing immediate danger or somewhere far from where you died but safer. This matters because your pack will persist in the world somewhere near where you died and marked on your map, ready for you to find it and recover as much of the gear and items you had on you at the time of death. You'll also notice your pack has been rifled through with some items broken or scattered, so don't expect to find 100% of your items back. In addition, you will inherit an affliction and penalties, either serious ones with a short lifespan or more forgiving ones that become permanent for your survivor. And finally, for a period of at least 48 hours after you cheat death, you will play in a vulnerable state with low or stamina recovery with the world appearing to you in shades of grey. You can cheat death up to three times and then it's over. And remember, you can always opt to simply die the normal way as you have done for years and be done with it. We know some players will feel this feature changes the way the game feels due to introducing the option to bypass permadeath. We think that facing the choice and being tempted by it is part of what makes it interesting. But we know some of you don't want to be forced to face that temptation, and want to play knowing that your consequences matter and there are no second chances. So based on player feedback, we may make cheating death an optional toggle when you set up your game. But for this release, we just want people to play with it and see what they think. And remember, you always have the option to ignore the temptation to cheat death if you have the willpower to do so. Yeah, it is all so then I see additions to Tales from the Far Territory released in Part 5, just updated on Steam, Xbox and PlayStation, and coming to Switch later this summer. Keep in mind that there is one more part to Tales, and if you didn't see a promised feature mentioned in Part 5, for example the Trader or Safehouse customization, 
That's this... because those features will be added in part six. All if you need more info on what has already been released in Tales so far, or what yeah. remains for part six, please visit the roadmap at thelongdark.com forward slash expansion. And if you need help or want to swap survival stories or tips and tricks with other players, we encourage you to join the official community at hinterlandforums.com. If you don't already have an account, simply register for one, and you can jump in to participate in discussions about survival strategies, theory crafting about winter mute story elements, yeah, or real life survival experiences. Is that bad, man? Man, we hope you're excited about what you see here today, and we're looking forward to seeing how you experience all these new systems and content. In the quiet apocalypse. Enjoy Last Horizon, and we'll see you in the far territory. Ya bu madem ne çıkıyor Lut? <gülüyor> Velev ki göz sonuyla öldürdüm ne çıkacak Lut? Evet şimdi bir videoyu bir beraber bir elden geçirelim tekrardan. Şimdi susalım. İlk olarak tabii ki de yeni haritadan bahsediyor. Yeni harita şurada görmüş olduğumuz gibi harita da üzerinde göstermişti şurada bir yerde göt ama ee, ben onu bulamadım. Whatever. Yeni harita var arkadaşlar ki buraya bu yayında direkt buraya gitmeye çalışacağız. Ekipmanlarımızı toplayıp mütecavuz günlüklerin sevimiz duruyorsa inşallah iyileklerin de gerçi bir şey olmaz. Ee, yeni harita daha Yataylamasına değil, daha diklemesine, daha mağaralarla, daha dağlarla mücadele edeceğimiz bir harita gelecek. Ve tabii ki de bunun e, üçüncü part son hayatta kalma DLC hikayesi de olacak içerisinde. Bunu da yapacağız efendim. E, i̇lk olarak zaten muhtemelen bunu oynamaya çalışırız. Altyazıyı aç. Altyazı İngilizce arkadaşlar. Adamı anlamıyorsanız yine şey yapmazsınız zaten. Kendiniz izleyin internet videosunda. Bedirhan Yayla Hidya Bönük göndermiş efendim. Mugivara'ya gitmiş. Hayırlı uğurlu olsun. Teşekkür ederim kesine bereket. Ya öyle mütüden abonelik hediye etti. Bu konu buralar normal. Beklediğim, beklediğimiz şeyler bunlar. Cougar sistemi. Şimdi Cougar sisteminden şöyle bahsetti. İlk başta bak, fark ettiğiniz üzere e, şey göstermedi bize. Cougar'ın yoldan gelişini göstermedi. Seslerini duyacağız. Cougar'ın, Puma'nın avladığı hayvanları böyle denk geleceğiz. Aa ölü tavşan burada birileri bir avlanmış falan. Bir de ekranda kocaman çıkıyor. Bölgene kugur gir diye ekrana falan çıkıyor. Galiba bize saldırma hani saldır ya görmeyeceğiz. Sadece Puma'yı galiba şu an tamamen videodan söyledi anladığım kadarıyla bana saldırırken vurma şansım yok. Bana saldırdıktan sonra tanklayıp yerdeyken senin bacağına Sokan falan deyip ok atacağız galiba. Öldürürsek okla nah öldürürüm. Yerdeyken okla nasıl öldüreceğim? Yaralayıp belki kanama... Acaba şey var mı yani? Kanamadan ölüyor mu mesela falan vesaire. Ee, jump scare gibi üzerime atlayacak galiba yani. Şeyi de öldürürüz yani. Tüfek müfek öldürürüz bu arada. Eyvallah ama yani okla ile mütecavızda acaba nasıl? Ee, hayatta kalacağız. Hayırlısı. Onu tecrübe etmek gerekiyor. Tabii ki de e, siz Puma ile pek kapışmak istemiyorsanız ya da hazır değilseniz Puma'nın inini bulup her haritada bir tane var. Garanti bir tane yerde çıkmıyor ama birkaç tane yerde çıkma şansı var. Bir tane o buluyorsunuz bulduğunuz zaman oraya bir tane ses bombası atıyorsunuz. Bir süre sizi rahatsız etmiyor. Öyle bir mekanik de koymuşlar. Şurada görmüş olduğunuz gibi ses bombasını attı. İnini yıktı. Ve bir süre kurtulmuş oluyorsunuz. Ee, bunun dışında yeni zorluk modu geliyor. Yeni zorluk modunda şu ee, yeni zorluk modunda 5 aşama var. 5. aşamada geldiğiniz zaman zaten ölüyor gibi bir şey yani. Sürekli sizin hayatınızı çileye sokacak. Canınızı sıkacak. Saçma sapan affliction'lar eklemişler. Misery modunda ki bunu oynayacağız bundan sonra zaten. Mütecavızı devam ettiririz. Bir yandan da Misery mod denemeleri de yaparız diye düşünüyorum. Böyle iki farklı seri tarzına gideriz. Ama ilk kitapta hikayeyi bitirdim istiyorum. Onu ya onu raşlarız yani. Ee, o yüzden bence yine de güzel bir challenge olacak bizim için. Hem YouTube kanalı için de güzel bir içerik olacağını düşünüyorum. İyidir, güzeldir, hoştur efendim. Ee, deneyip göreceğiz. En son olarak da e, ölümü aldatma mekaniği geliyor arkadaşlar. 
Sevdiğimizde 3 kere ölümü aldatabileceğiz. Öldüğümüz zaman seçenek sunulacak. Mesela buza düştük öldük. Ne oldu? Mesela ne tip şeyler gelebilir? Aa, achievement'lar resetleniyor. Mesela 500 günde öldün. 500 gün challenge yapıyorsunuz. Öldünüz, cheat kullandınız. Gitti. Yani yine save 500 gün yapmak istiyorsanız save scam yapacaksınız ya da kolay modda yat kalk yapacaksınız. <gülüyor> Eyvallah. Ee... Evet yani 48 saat boyunca zayıf olacaksınız. Hem kondisyon hem can havuzu bakımından. Sırt çantam doğada bir yerde. Ee, ama eşyalarınızın büyük bir kısmı gitmiş olacak. Yani kalan kısmını da bulacaksınız. Muhtemelen işaretli olacak. Ya öldüğünüz yeri biliyorsunuz zaten herhalde. Öyle bir şey gösterirler. Ee, i̇ki tane seçenekten birini seçmeniz gerekiyor. Bir tanesi kısa vadeli ama can sıkıcı bir e, zorluk olacak. Bir tanesi de biraz daha sıkıntı değil ama uzun vadede. Uzun sürecek bir özellik olacak. Bunlardan birini seçmek için seçmemiz gerekiyormuş. Doğmak için. Bir de öldüğüm yere yakın bir yerde mi doğayım ama riskli mi olsun yoksa güvende mi doğayım ama çok uzakta bir yerde öldüğüm yere çok uzak bir yerde mi doğayım tarzında bir seçenek seçiyormuşsunuz. Mesela ilerletecek şimdi mesela. Aynen uzakta güvenli bir yerde mi yakında zorlu bir yerde mi kurtların arasında mı falan filan. Bunları test ederiz. Bunları ayrı zorluk bir şeyde kendimiz daha sonra zor test ederiz yani. Mesela şey olarak da ne eklemişler? Mesela kısa kısa ee, kısa sürecek ama kısa sürecek değil de ya minimum 48 saat falandır zaten. Maksimum kondisyonun ha oha 48 saat 20 gün boyunca maksimum kondisyonun %60 düşüyor. Ee. Bu da ama kalıcı. Maksimum kondisyonun %35 düşecek ama kalıcı diyor. Öf. Öf. Yani kalıcı olması götü mü? Ya. Lan. Ulan benim elim soğuk ısırması olduğu zaman reset, atan, reset atan, atan adamım ben. Bunu seçer miyim hiç? Bunu seçer miyim hiç oğlum? Bu nedir ya? Bu ne ya? Öldür daha iyi. Ben bunu alırım. Bunu da öldürürüm zaten. <gülüyor> Bu da öldüm. İyi yani. En azından hani öldüğünüz zaman direkt hani ha, tamam devam et demiyor yani. Ağzınız sıçıyor öyle. Hani ağzınıza sıçıyor. Ondan sonra hadi oyna diyor. Güzel. Bir de aynı zamanda bir de zayıflık geliyor işte. 48 saat boyunca. Şu şu canavuzuna baksana. Canavuzuna bak. 